Hi, I'm Jennifer from Camp Sheet Studio, and today I want to explain to you how you can enable a better sound quality for your teacher for your online music lessons. Let me explain. When you are in Zoom, Zoom has a feature that cancels background noise, which is good if you're having a conversation. But the problem is, if you're having a music lesson like piano or guitar or cello or whatever instrument you're playing, really, it happens to cancel out some of the notes that your teacher is hearing on the other end. And also, this information is handy for teachers too, because if you enable a better sound quality for your students on the other end, then everybody wins and everyone has a great sound. So let me explain and I will show you. Okay, so now we are in Zoom interface and I want you to go down to where the microphone mute is and there's a little arrow right beside it to the right. I want you to click on that. And you may see a short list or a long list. I have a long list because I have a lot of sound equipment. But the last setting is what we need to focus on, audio settings. So I want you to go there and click on it. Now that you see this screen open up, you see a few settings. You will see a test speaker, your test microphone, I like to put my input volume to the max and turn off this checkbox. I'm not sure what the original parameters are, but usually you should put your volume to the top and uncheck that box of automatically adjust. You don't want that on. Now, if you're getting distortion and your musical instrument is far too loud um, for either the teacher or the student, you might need to adjust this to be a little different. But for now, let's leave it maximum. And now let's scroll down over here to advanced. You need to click on advanced and you're going to see a few um, other things that you can check off. Now, this probably won't be checked off. So what you need to do is make it turn on. Okay, so that little box should be checked blue. And that's, I will explain that it'll show you at your start screen if you have your original sound or filtered sound on or off. So you want to check that off. And the next three items should be disabled, disabled, and automatic. So I think the original parameter is auto, but you want to make it disabled. And once again, this one, I think originally it's auto, but you want it to be disabled. The echo cancellation, you're just going to keep it automatic. And so then you can get out of that area and go back to your Zoom. So now you are back to your main screen and at the top left hand corner here, you should see turn off original sound. And that means that the original sound is turned on. Sometimes at the start of a lesson, it might say turn on. And so it means you need to click it. Okay, so basically during every lesson, it should say turn off original sound. And that's what that little blue checkbox was for. It, it shows it at the top of your screen at all times. So you can know if you're actually feeding to the other person on the other end, your unfiltered sound. So there you have it. I hope this information was useful to you and that you will be able to use a better sound quality in Zoom the next time you have an online lesson. And if you'd like to see more videos of this type, like and subscribe below. And you can also visit my website at www.campshestudio.ca. Have a great day. Bye.